Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to transfer everything from your old Samsung iPhone or Android device to the new Galaxy S21 or S21 Ultra. This is a very simple process, but you always wanna make sure you have your two phones. And if it's Android, you wanna use the cable that it came with, Type-C to Type-C. And if it's an iPhone, you do wanna have a Type-C to lightning available if possible. So let's go ahead and connect them after we do these two steps. So use your old phone, choose which one you wanna go with. And we are gonna be using the cable. The cable is a lot faster than the wireless version. And plus you have no chance of having any issues really in comparison to the wireless one, which just may have some issues depending on your reception. Okay, now one thing, if you aren't in Wi-Fi, you do wanna make sure the SIM card is already in the new phone as well. So now you're going to allow it to collect all the information and go over here. Now mine will probably take a while because I have over 200 gigs of storage in here. And yes, I did have to get the 512 version to make sure I did not run out of space for that very reason. So again, it's scanning the entire phone Normally this is done in a few seconds, but like I said, I think because I have so much storage in this one, I think it's gonna take a little bit longer, so I might speed this up for you. All right, so not too much longer than it was going, but you can see everything I have here. So I have, I'm gonna transfer over the home screen, the images, the videos, the documents, everything on here. By the way, I know this question will be asked, if you do have a micro SD card that will be under here, so you can transfer everything over from the phone and the micro SD card to the new phone, because again, this one does not have a micro SD. So you sometimes see an error message here. The thing you wanna look at that is to see, okay, wait, am I losing anything in my apps in terms of something that I might need, or is there an app that can't transfer? That's usually what the exclamation is for. So in this case, it's telling me that WhatsApp won't transfer, which is fine. I don't need it to transfer, so that's okay, basically. But just that's just letting you know that will happen. Also for text messages, you wanna know that depending on how many you want to transfer, you can transfer over all of them, the last three months, six months. I would recommend if you don't need them, only go back to one year just because text messages do take the longest. For instance, for all of this different storage, it's probably gonna take me quite a while to take everything. So I'm gonna select everything and then start the transfer. Okay, now that I've selected everything, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit transfer. And that will start it. Just hit copy on the old device. You're gonna use your fingerprint or your pen to verify that it is you. And it's gonna start by moving up all of your Google accounts. Okay, so now it's going to start the transfer, finish the setup part. Now, the thing you wanna do is keep screen on on both devices. And now I'm gonna get lots of different things that's going on right now, but I want to jump straight to right here. So keep both of these on, have it like this, and that will be the best way to transfer everything over. Once you do this, it will take you a lot of time. So for me, it's gonna take 46 minutes, but I do have a lot to back up. So I'm gonna let it transfer over everything and then I will follow up and show you how it will be looking the same as this phone did now on this. All right guys, and now you can see everything has been transferred over. Now I did have to do a little bit of moving just because this had a wider screen and this one has a longer screen, so it needed to change a couple of things. But overall you can see the same aesthetic, the everything transferred over. I will say that 45 minutes was actually while they needed to be connected. Afterward, you still probably needed another half an hour, again, for about 200 gigabits of storage to actually have all of the apps then install, have everything then uh, set up and then perfectly mirror each other. That's what took a little while longer. But hopefully you guys did like this video. If you did like it, please give it a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. 
and right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.